was just so thrilled because I said this was going to be the perfect, absolutely perfect tree house. Now on the bottom, as you can see, there were some branches trying to grow, but they've cut them down. So basically they've, they don't want this tree to grow anymore. And it is so healthy and it is so like exotic and it has a solution that I need. And the solution that I need is to build the most magnificent tree house in the world. And why I would choose and have chosen this tree to represent the tree house is going to be 800 square foot. Now, obviously, <laughs> it's in full bloom because right now it's 42 degrees out. Uh-oh, we have some branches here. Oh my. I hate to see that. I thought it was the perfect tree. Now I'm finding out here there's some branches that has no leaves on them. Now, what happened? Is it drying out? Oh my God, I hope I don't lose this tree. Oh no, this was my perfect tree. A branches without leaves is a very bad sign. Also, we're now almost in the middle of July, so we only have 60 days left, not even 60 days before the leaves start to turn. Um, I am a tree hugger, I'm a tree lover, and I have a program for forest therapy, so I look at all the diseases in the trees, and I make the analysis of the diseased trees, I travel all over the world to do so and this was my most magnificent tree which is a great maple to make a tree house but a lot of these branches would have to be cut down and now the sky would definitely show and I wanted to just live like that like Judy my monkey when I was three I had a I had a monkey named Judy that was my first pet uh oh and it's got a disease spot right here too. So it has some form of fungus and I thought it was the perfect tree. But down here in the ground, the moss um, doesn't look that great. So I'm understanding why the tree is not that great. Because of the moss by the tree, and by the roots is not that great. We're going to have some obstacles in the tree because it's not 100% perfect. But British Columbia has the nicest trees in the world. Also some jackass made a wire and put a hole in the tree. Oh, man has already destroyed it. You see, it's always man, 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 man. Why do they have to touch Mother Earth's friends? Why do they have to touch the creation of Mother Earth? Why do they have to fool around, cut branches, do this, do that, do what they want to do with these trees that are just naturally grown by the ecosystem? The spiders and the ants and the squirrels, these are their homes. These trees allow us to breathe. So why are we destroying them? Southern Ontario has the worst trees in the history of the entire planet. Next to crack dry desert. That's what I, I am so angry at the condition of, this is the most spectacular tree I found. And now I did a second look and a second analysis. And I realized that now it's only 50% perfect. So 50% of it's now not the way I thought it was because I had a closer look. But don't worry because I have some trees that are perfect and I have some trees that were graded a -A 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 by the Conservation of Canada and I will be bringing them to you very shortly. Sonia Lynn Schoolcraft Fooderman signing off for Observation Conservation Forest Therapy Canada.